We begin this day in Scream Eagles history in 1998, where the Eagles would suffer their first loss of the season after starting the year 4-0-1. Eagles falling 3-1 in Halifax. Ryan Walsh, the only goal for Cape Breton. Danny Lebois stopping 40 shots in the loss, playing well. Future Scream Eagle Frederick Belanger starring for Halifax, scoring a goal and adding two assists. The story of this game, though, was a big hit by Thomas Kluchek on Alex Tonge, who had 15 points in four games after returning from the National Hockey League. Tonge would miss a substantial amount of time and perhaps was never the same after that hit, even though he did have a great NHL career. Trevor Ettinger of Cape Breton fighting in this game against Carl Lyle Lewis and Jeffrey Sullivan. In 2000, Cape Breton would be victorious 4-2 in Val d'Ors. Kevin Cloutier led the way with a pair of points. Mark andre Fleury stopping 31 shots in the win. Future forer Matthew Dumas picking up two assists. The trade that sent Dumas to Val d'Or would bring David Cloutier to Cape Breton, and Cloutier had a goal for Val d'Or. In the year 2002, Cape Breton was victorious 4-3 at home over Shawinigan. J.F. Dufour scoring twice for Cape Breton, while Maxime Lassard, Stuart McRae, and Stephen Dixon all had two-point nights. 28 saves for Marc-Andre Fleury in the victory. Number of fights in this one, George Davis, Grant Thomas, and Gary Matheson all dropping the gloves on the Cape Breton side. For Shawinigan, and Armin's Burzans had two goals and an assist, while Olivier Michaud had a rough night in Nets pulled after allowing three goals on nine shots. In 2004, the Eagles would have a rough end to a road trip as they fell 8-3 in Quebec City against the Rampart. It was Cape Breton's third game in three nights, and Pascal Vincent didn't put too much stock in this game as he later claimed he threw the tapes in the garbage from this one, citing fatigue from the trip as the Eagles were on the losing end of things. Adam Purdy, James Shepard, and Vincent Lambert with the goals as the Eagles were outshot 59-25. Alex Radulov leading the way for Quebec with a goal and three assists, while Josh Hennessy had two goals and an assist. In 2006, the Eagles would fall 3-1 on home ice to St. John's. Mario Kempe, Ryan Graham, and Matt Fillier providing the offense for St. John's. Cape Breton opened the scoring, Cam Fergus scoring to extend his point streak to 14 games. Eagles outshot the Fog Devils 45-27. David Davenport playing well in the loss. Ilya Ejoff playing even better in the win. Eagles could have taken a 2-0 lead in this game, but Oscars Bartulis was denied on a penalty shot. 2008 would see the Scream Eagles take on the Montreal Junior who moved from St. John's. This was actually the first meeting between the two teams after the move to Montreal. And of course, the Eagles facing a familiar face in Montreal Junior head coach Pascal Vincent. Chris Culligan had a goal and an assist for Cape Breton while Nick McNeil and Vincent Lavagur both scored in this one. Nick Layton with two assists for the Junior. Jan Piskacek of Cape Breton dropping the gloves against Angelo Esposito. In 2009, the Eagles would top Shakutami 4-3 in overtime in Shakutami. Luke Adam had two points for Cape Breton, while Patrick Lapostel scored the winning goal. Eagles had led 3-1, Nicholas Deschamps scoring twice for the Sags to tie it up. Future Dallas star Antoine Roussel scoring the other goal for Shakutami. In 2011, the Eagles were blank 3-0 at home to Bathurst. Matthew Bissonnette leading the attack with two assists, while Jacob Brennan stopped all 39 shots. Morgan Ellis with four shots on goal was the third star in this game for Cape Breton. 2015 would see the Eagles break a four-game losing streak, defeating Bathurst this time with a 5-2 win at center 200. Evgeny Svechnikov scoring twice and adding an assist, while Pierre-Luc Dubois had two helpers, a goal and an assist each for Colin McSween and Yannick Bertrand. Christophe Boivin of the T-10 scoring twice in the loss. Alex Belanger picks up the win for Cape Breton, stopping 25 of 27 shots. Soon-to-be Scream Eagle Daryl McCollum starts this game for Bathurst, but he was pulled after allowing two goals on four shots. Dylan Boucher of Cape Breton dropping the gloves against Xavier Vanetti. That's all for this day in Scream Eagles history. You're listening to Car Star Cape Breton Scream Eagles Hockey on 1270 CJCB.